Chicago State's University's 2016 commencement ceremonies for the College of Professional Studies and Fine Arts. I'm Dean Joyce Gaddis. Please rise as the joint ROTC color guard presents the colors and please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem led by voice major performance major Miss Lisa Parente of the School of Music and Dance. This, this is the favorite day of the year in the life of the university, my favorite day. And why? Because everybody in this arena is happy. All of the graduates are happy, all the family and friends that are here, all the staff and faculty and administrators, everyone is happy. And why are we happy? 
because you have worked very hard for this day, for this very moment. Of course, it's not only you who have been working for this joyful occasion. Your family and friends have also been here to encourage and support you and most of all, love you. So I ask that all the family and the friends who are here today to please stand and let us thank you for all the love and support that you've given. Congratulations also to the faculty and staff who have taught and mentored you. I know that you will have long-lasting memories of faculty who have made an impact on your life. I now ask that the dedicated faculty who are on the stage and in the audience to please stand and receive our deepest appreciation. is really about you. I hope your time here has been a rewarding journey of professional and personal experiences and many wonderful memories. In PSFA, we pride ourselves in creating the link between classroom, community, and careers. Many of you were able to complete internships that gave meaning to your classroom experiences. Some of you worked alongside a professor doing research or creative endeavors in the community. The community was your learning laboratory. While others of you even explored the world community, stretching your horizons all the way to Asia, to Latin America, to Europe, and to Africa. So as you prepare for this next leg of your journey, it is important that you trust in yourself. Your experiences at SDSU have helped you become a well-rounded person. It was here that you got the time to test the waters while developing your skills and interests. It was here that you learned to lead and to serve. And if you trust in yourself, it'll make it a lot easier to be able to explore and to take risks. I can tell you from my personal experiences that you won't grow if you stay in your comfort zone. My moments of greatest achievement and exhilaration came after I took a risk and succeeded. And if I didn't succeed, I became confident enough to turn it into a learning moment. Try to think yes before you say no to an opportunity. We are confident that you have the creative, collaborative, and critical thinking skills that you need to be able to lead and to serve this day is a tribute to your accomplishments. And remember, leadership starts here. Congratulations to you. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Provost and Senior Vice President of San Diego State University, Dr. Chikuka and Wameka. Thank you, Dean Gattas. It is my pleasure to introduce the following colleagues and guests in attendance today. Please stand as I call your name and remain standing until all have been recognized. Audience, please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Representing the university, California State Trustee, Ms. Lillian Kimball. Vice President for Business and Financial Affairs and Chief Financial Officer, Mr. Tom McCarron. Vice President for Research and Dean of Graduate Affairs, Dr. Stephen Welter. Associate Vice President for Student Affairs, Ms. Antoinette Marbury. Incoming Chair of the University Senate, Dr. Marcy Boba Michel. Representing SDSU Alumni Association, Mr. Jack McGrory. 
for the College of Professional Studies and Fine Arts commencement speaker, Professor Gregory Dobbin. <laughs> Honorary Grand Marshal, Professor Larry Beck. <laughs> Director of the School of Arts and Design, Professor Kotaro Nakamura. <laughs> Director of the School of Communication, Dr. Bill Snavely. <laughs> Dr. L. Robert Payne, School of Hospitality and Tourism Management, Professor Carl Winston. <laughs> Director of the School of Journalism and Media Studies, Dr. Bailing Shah. <laughs> Director of the School of Music and Dance, Dr. Charles Fredericks. Director of the School of Public Affairs, Dr. Stuart Henry. <laughs> Director of the School of Theater, Television, and Film, Dr. D.J. Hopkins. <laughs> Representing our ROTC units, Air Force Captain Paul Kim, Navy Lieutenant Mona Lisa De La Vopel, Army Major Brian Janowski. Associated Student President Blair Ward, <laughs> Associated Students Executive Vice President Leo Carrillo III, <laughs> Associated Students Vice President for Internal Relations Andrea Bird, <laughs> President of the PSFA College Council Chelsea Bayer. <laughs> Please join me in welcoming these individuals. You may be seated. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and pleasure to introduce to you the president of San Diego State University, Dr. Elliot Hirschman. Good morning and welcome. It is my great pleasure to join our entire community in congratulating our graduates. I also wish to acknowledge the support of the many family members and friends who helped make today possible. Congratulations also go to faculty and staff members who have taught and mentored our graduates. To our graduates, today is a special milestone. Reaching this milestone has required substantial sacrifice, and in this process, you've grown personally professionally, and intellectually. And for all of these reasons, we pay tribute to you today. In academic tradition, graduation is referred to as commencement. Thus, today is a beginning as well as an ending. Today, you are joining the very proud tradition of San Diego State University alumni. This tradition is, first and foremost, one of leadership, and service. Our alumni serve our region, our nation, and the world by creating and building businesses, teaching the next generation, making scientific and creative contributions, advancing our professions, and serving our government and our communities. In every one of these fields, our alumni are entrepreneurs, innovators, in short, leaders. And now, as our society faces very significant challenges, it's your turn to lead and to serve. And we are confident, we are certain, that the hard work, intelligence, and perseverance that have brought you to this day will ensure your future success and that of our entire society. Congratulations, graduates. I now present the incoming chair of the University Senate, Dr. Marcy Bober Michel. As this day marks for many of you the end of your formal education, it also marks the end of the formal careers of some of your professors. Although they may have relinquished their classrooms, they'll continue their careers as scholars and valued contributors to the university. 
The faculty, through the University Senate, customarily honors its retiring colleagues with the title of Professor Emeritus. The names of our new Professors Emeriti are included in your program. It's my pleasure to introduce the distinguished faculty members here today and present on the platform from the College of Professional Studies and Fine Arts. Please rise and remain standing. Brent Dutton, Professor of Music and Dance, 34 years of service. Lauren Schreiber, Professor of Theater, Television, and Film, 21 years of service. On behalf of your students and your colleagues, I thank you for your contributions to San Diego State and extend our best wishes on this next chapter. Okay, please be seated. It is fitting at this time to, play tribute, to pay tribute to the San Diego State University students who have put their educations on hold in order to serve in the U.S. Armed Forces. We also want to thank the veterans who are here today for their service to our nation. Would you please stand and be recognized? We thank you and appreciate your sacrifice. It's fitting to remember our fellow faculty and students who we lost in the past year. Their names appear in your commencement program. Please join me in a moment of silence. Thank you. I am now very pleased to introduce our commencement speaker, Professor Gregory Durbin. <laughs> Greg Durbin is a filmmaker and professor in the School of Theater, Television, and Film, and is the uh, leader and the head of the Television, Film, and New Media Production Program. His experiences range from independent film and video production to video art, documentary, and short subject films he has worked professionally as a director, writer, cinematographer, editor, and storyboard artist. Professor Durbin's work has been on, broadcast on PBS, the Sundance Channel, HBO, and many broadcast venues abroad. His work has been exhibited in museums and festivals including Venice, Amsterdam, Berlin, Stockholm, the Pacific, Pacific Film Archives, and the Museum of Modern Art in New York, where he is represented in their permanent collection. Professor Durbin received a bachelor's degree and an MFA from UC San Diego in visual arts, where he received the full Regents Fellowship. Please welcome Professor Durbin. Dean Gaddis. Uh, President Hirschman, <clears throat> distinguished colleagues and guests, and above all, oh, and Provost Enwin Mika, and above all, graduates. <laughs> I want to start by sincerely thanking you. The last few weeks of dread and panic that I've endured at the thought of speaking before such an immense audience have allowed me to lose more weight than a whole year in the Aztec <laughs> Recreation Center. Seriously, I, I feel extremely honored to congratulate all you graduates and your parents. After all, graduation is a huge achievement. Huge. One that certainly merits celebration. You've spent the last four years, maybe five years, cramming your craniums with the knowledge that you'll need for the future. And now, at last, you're commencing launching out of here and into the real world. Now, this raises an important question. Why in the heck are you doing that? This place is phenomenal. The finest campus in the CSU system. <laughs> Pulpertude everywhere you look. And the best weather this side of Hawaii. <laughs> So, besides, have you noticed what's going on in the real world lately? 
It's an absolute jungle out there. Well, I promised myself that if I ever made one of these speeches, I would avoid banal platitudes at any cost. I started with the standard retrospective question, um, what, what do I wish I had heard when I graduated? What lessons have I learned? And in no time, an avalanche of banal platitudes presented themselves for my immediate use. It was at that moment, I think, that I decided banal platitudes are a good thing. After all, they've withstood the test of time, and that's probably because they reflect truth. They can even have profound importance. So, two things emerged as I considered what I would talk about today. The first is the critical importance of creativity in your endeavors. And the second is the way we define and pursue success, which of course has a corollary, failure. Now as a filmmaker, I value the way stories encode ideas and information, so if you'll indulge me, I have a story. Many years ago, I posed a riddle to my then five-year-old nephew who was proudly mastering Roman numerals. I drew a V on a piece of paper and I asked him how, with one stroke of his crayon, he might turn that into a four. So he put a line in front of the V and he made a four. I then drew an X on the page and I asked him how, with one stroke, he'd make it a, a nine. So he put another line in front of the X and he made a nine. Then I asked him how he'd make that same nine into a six with one stroke of his crayon. And to my, to my surprise, he accomplished this almost without hesitation, something many adults can't do. Now let's flash forward 11 years. I asked that same nephew, now 16 and obnoxiously proud of his high academic standing in high school, to solve the same puzzle. He stared at the nine in angry disbelief that he'd ever solved this puzzle as a five-year-old. The more he puzzled over it, the more frustrated, humiliated, and incredulous he became. He tortured himself for maybe 15 more minutes, and then finally the answer came to him. Now, what had happened in the intervening years to make this so much more difficult for him? I think the answer has something to do with the way our conditioning shapes our thinking. We're all conditioned by our education, and if your experience was anything like mine, your education rewarded you for following rules implicitly imposed on you by, by teachers like me, rascals that we are. <laughs> it most likely encouraged you to venerate uh, logical thinking, seriousness of purpose, and clarity as opposed to ambiguity. It rewarded discipline, obedience, and practicality, and it discouraged frivolity, foolishness, and laziness. Above all, I would guess that it encouraged you in the pursuit of the right answer. Now, I certainly don't mean to disparage uh, rules, discipline, obedience, seriousness of purpose, logical thinking, and all the rest of it. Obviously, these things have incontestable value. But I do think that unless offset by, by playfulness, frivolity, a willingness to embrace ambiguity, foolishness, even laziness, they can choke creative thinking, the most important arrow in your intellectual quiver, especially when combined with curiosity. Now, as a 15-year-old academic star, my nephew imposed a set of rules on himself, a system, Roman numerals. By the way, I never mentioned Roman numerals to him. He imposed that on himself. But as a five-year-old, he wasn't constrained by any such rules, and he saw right away that he could put an S in front of the Roman numeral nine to create the word six. He could also have added an Arabic number six after the X to create the mathematical expression one times six, which is, of course is six. The point is, our pursuit of the right answer ought to be our pursuit of the best answer. Now, <clears throat> creativity, and this also I sh should add that uh, we can only do this if we stop imposing unnecessary limitations on our thinking. That's what he was doing. 
As a 15-year-old academic star, my nephew imposed these, these impositions on himself, and he couldn't see the answer. Now, creativity ought to be at the heart of our quest for answers. We all have a transcendent drive to create, whether you're in any of the arts, um, sciences, communication, journalism and media studies, public, af public affairs. <laughs> your willingness to engage creatively will largely determine your success, and I would add, probably your satisfaction as well. So how does one engender a spirit of creativity in the pursuit of success? Well, I think the answer is that you have to embrace failure. Perseverance is also critically important. Creativity only, uh, only emerges after you've shown up enough times to purge pedestrian ideas. So, this means that you have to be willing to produce a boatload of garbage along the way. Don't be afraid to be a fool. <laughs> According to uh, Harvard psychologist uh, Keith Simonton, we cannot predict our success. So. Produce as much work as possible, failing proudly along the way in order to increase your chances of success, in order to hit a bullseye. Now this brings me to my last and most important point. How do you define success? Well, one thing I can tell you is it better be you who defines it, because the real world is just itching to define it for you, and that could be a recipe for misery. <laughs> In spite of what you may have heard, you don't have a fixed personality with fixed values and fixed ideals throughout life. So your concept of success is almost certain to change. You'll adapt and grow as a function of successive feedback in your life. So I'll end on a story relevant to this. One of my closest friends was doomed to success by an exquisite intellect. We were roommates, and by the time we graduated from college, he had offers at every major graduate school in the country, Harvard, Yale, Princeton, Stanford, Berkeley. He eventually became a lawyer in a prestigious law firm, commanding a staggering salary. But within eight years, he had plunged from hero to zero. He was miserable, ashen, humorless. He used to say, my career has completely stunted my education. Or, when asked socially what he did for a living, he would answer, I'm a paid liar. Now, of course, this is not about, or was not about the law profession, but about him. So in a dramatic and unexpected move that rattled the perches of his parents and his friends, including me, I have to admit, he turned down an incredible partnership offer, incredibly lucrative, and signed on as a letter carrier for the United States Postal Service. Well, was this a cop-out? I think not. His decision took courage, creativity, and honest self-appraisal. He understood that he was much more than the aggregate of his curriculum vita, academic achievements, and professional qualifications. And after 25 years, I can report that he is happy as a clam at high tide. And, <laughs> and an empathetic and generous contributor to society, to boot. In fact, I can think of no one more satisfied with life or with a richer life of the mind than he has. He defined success in his own terms, and he achieved it. So to conclude this sprawling screed, I would say, Follow no one's path but your own, unless, of course, you're lost and you need directions to a graduation party, then by all means, follow that path. <laughs> Decide for yourself what constitutes success and failure. Love what you do, and do what you love, and get good at it. Get really good at it. And finally, nourish the bonds, the enduring bonds that you've established here at SDSU. I guarantee that will pay off for you in the future, down the road. 
Thank you, congratulations, I honor you, and I look forward to the future that you will create. Thank you for those very fine words, Professor Durbin. That was a lot of fun. Um, we will now proceed to the conferral of Masters of Fine Arts degree. The Master of Fine Arts is the highest degree obtainable in various applied uh, studies of the arts. The MFA requires two to four years of concentrated study and completion of a major literary, musical, dramatic, or artistic work. Today we recognize in a special ceremony MFA candidates who have completed their studies in arts and theater. Mr. President, I now have the honor to present the candidates for the degree of Masters of Fine Arts in Art, Musical Theater, and in Design and Technical Theater. Candidates, please come forward as your names are called. Ikao Alvaro. Bradley Behrman. Jake, Jacob Brent. Julia Cuppy. Randall Eames. Jessica Humphrey. Courtney Cattengale. Liv Stevens Peterson. And now the Master of Fine Arts in Design and Technical Theater, Travis Barrett. <laughs> Timothy McAllister. <laughs> Nick Petcher. Chad Sheldon. <laughs> Master of Fine Arts in Art, starting with Jessica Crocker. <laughs> Valieri Hasty. Maria del Carmen Olimon. <laughs> Kaya Rainbolt. <laughs> um, and I'm assuming Vincent Robles is not here. Mr. President, these candidates having completed their studies have been recommended by the Graduate Council to receive the degree of Masters of Fine Arts. Faculty, please come forward and stand behind your candidates. On the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the California State University, I confer upon you the Master of Fine Arts degree with all the rights, 
privileges and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Please hood our new colleagues. Congratulations, Masters of Fine Arts. Please be seated. proceed to the conferral of the master's degrees. San Diego State University offers the master's degree in 78 program areas, including the arts, letters and sciences, and in professional areas. Candidates for the master's degrees, please rise and remain standing as your degree is called. The Master of Arts in Art, the Master of, Commun of Arts in Communication with a specialization in Communication Studies. the Master of Arts in Communication with a specialization in Mass Communication and Media Studies. The Master of Arts in Music. The Master of Music. The, the Master of Arts in Television, Film, and New Media Production. The Master of Arts in Theater Arts. The Master of Science in Criminal Justice and Criminology. Master of City Planning. The Master of Public Administration. And the Master of Learning, Design, and Technology. Mr. President, I have the honor to present the candidates who have completed the requirements for the master's degree. They have been recommended by the faculty and graduate council to receive their degrees as listed in the commencement program. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the California State University and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I confer upon you the master's degree with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Please be seated. We will now proceed with the conferral of bachelor's degrees. In the College of Professional Studies and Fine Arts, undergraduates earn the bachelor's degree in Bachelor of Arts in Applied Arts and Sciences Bachelor of Arts in Liberal Arts and Sciences, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Music. Candidates for bachelor's degrees will be presented by Dean Gatters. It is my pleasure to introduce the December, May, and August candidates for bachelor's degrees. As I call your degree, please stand and remain standing. Bachelor's degrees in Art and Design. Communication. Health Communication. Journalism, which is journalism, dance, music. 
music, television and film and new media, theater, hospitality and tourism management, recreation and tourism management, criminal justice, public administration, thank you. You may be seated. I am delighted to recognize those students whose academic achievements have earned them honors for outstanding scholarship. Students graduating with extremely high GPAs, cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude are listed in the commencement program. You may also identify those students graduating with this high honors, with the highest honors, summa cum laude, by the gold honors braid worn over their robes. Will all those students who are graduating with honors, cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude, please stand and be recognized. Congratulations. You may be seated. Okay. I'll do this one on my toes. Members of the class of 2016, as incoming chair of the University Senate, I congratulate you on your achievement. President Hirschman, by action of the University Senate, the faculty approves and recommends awarding the degrees listed in the program. All candidates for the bachelor's degree, please rise. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the California State University, and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I confer upon you the bachelor's degree with the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. It is with great pleasure I present this diploma to symbolize the awarding of bachelor's degrees to the graduating class of the College of Professional Studies and Fine Arts. Congratulations. It is now my pleasure to introduce Mr. Robert Russell, who has earned the distinction of Outstanding Graduating Senior in the College of Professional Studies and Fine Arts. Thank you, President Hirschman, Provost in, in Wameka, and Dean Gattas. On behalf of the class of 2016, I'm proud to accept this diploma and bid grateful farewell to San Diego State University. It is customary at this time for all bachelor's candidates to move their tassels from right side to left, symbolizing the moment of graduation. You can be seated now. <laughs> Just a quick caller out. My, my niece is in there in the communications department. She's graduating. Paige Russell. And a couple of my honored guests that are with me, the superintendent of Sweetwater School is here with me, Dr. Karen Janning, and the director of communication from Sweetwater School. 
Before I get started, I want to thank a couple of people to whom I'm indebted for this honor. Professor Eckerd, McGrory, Reiner, Soon, and Pugh are amongst the most inspiring professors here at San Diego State University. I hope you'll continue to inspire and serve those who follow me. Professor Frozio, who is here with me today, inspired me not only as my classroom professor, but as my internship coordinator. I would like to uh, thank the entire faculty of San Diego State University on behalf of the graduating class. Thank you. I want to thank my wife of 25 years and my children who have supported me through this enormous metamorphosis in my life. Te amo, mi amor. Most of all, though, I'd like to thank the students of San Diego State University. As an older student, I thought it'd be really hard to fit in. But you engaged with me and didn't make me feel invisible. And for that, I thank you. I am humbled and honored to be before you to enjoy this great honor and milestone in your lives. We have just graduated from one of the finest universities in this nation. Your journey is just beginning. Your cup is just beginning to fill. My cup, however, is overflowing. It has taken me 30 years to accomplish what you've done in just four. When I graduated from Benita Vista High School in 1984, most of you weren't even born. I wasn't a great student back then. In fact, I had to go to summer school to get my diploma. When I was a young boy, I thought I could be anything. I wanted to be president of the United States. But when you're seven, you have no clue what that, that entails. My parents divorced when I was nine, and most of my dreams disappeared. It took me a long time to realize it wasn't my fault. But my story is not about failure. It's about endurance and never giving up. It's about a story of change. Why is it amazing that I'm even here? My journey has been something like out of a Robert Frost poem. My road diverged along the way, and I found a path less traveled, and it has made all the difference. Let me tell you just a little bit about my journey. As I mentioned, my parents divorced when I was very young. I barely passed high school having ADHD. I had a hearing deficiency that kept me from going into law enforcement like my father. I started working when I was 15 and I moved out when I was 18. I tried at least four times to return to community college and changed majors at least six times. I didn't graduate from Southwestern Community College till 2009. When I finally made it to San Diego State in my first semester, my father had surgery for pancreatic cancer and my mother died. She had lost her battle with Parkinson's disease. Just three months after my mother died, my father's cancer returned and he died in August of 2015, my final semester here. But I never gave up. I still don't know why. I think because in 1993, my first child was born, and I found purpose in life. In 2000, my, I was blessed with another miracle, my second daughter. Knowing I could never afford college, and I would never likely get another chance, I received financial aid and enrolled as a full-time student while working full-time to support my family. My wife and children supported me, and it was tough at times, but I did it in just 18 months. I graduated magna cum laude. This little kid that had his dreams walk out the door when his father left 
The kid that went to summer school for his diploma, who engaged in self-indulgent behavior, has come full circle. <clears throat> Aristotle wrote, we are what we habitually do. Therefore, excellence is not an act, it is a habit. And I was excellent at failure. But I've created new habits that have brought me to this point in my life. What I want to do is leave you with this. It's okay to quit something you find unrewarding. It's okay to fail or suffer failures in your life just as long as you never give up. We need to have courage to continue when faced with failure or even death. When my father told me his cancer was terminal, my father never gave up. He made a promise to his granddaughter that he would dance at her quinceanera. Even when faced with death, he still made it to dance with her on her 15th birthday celebration. You see, courage is what drives us to do the things we thought we could never do. Courage is what made me face my failures and has brought me here today. Alfred Tennyson wrote a poem about some brave men who rode into the valley of the shadow of death. He said, someone blundered. Theirs is not to make reply. Theirs is not to reason why. Theirs is but do to do and die. Aztecs, have courage to make reply. Have courage to reason why. Have courage to do and die. Rise up, Aztecs. Follow your dreams. Find what it is that you love. Have courage to change your dreams if they don't turn out the way you believe they should have. Live life with resolution, tenacity, and fortitude. The courage endure challenges. The courage are al the courageous are alive. Never give up, guys. Tax rise up. Thank you. Well, I think you can see why. Commencement is, for me, the best day of the year. I hope that, like our speaker, each of you will embrace the joy of this day and give thanks to those who have supported you. You've accomplished much, and we are very, very proud of you. I wish for each graduate today what I wish for my own adult children. I hope that you'll continue to learn and to grow, that you'll laugh and love, that you'll embrace a noble purpose, and that ultimately, you will develop to be the person you hope to be. I recognize that some of you may feel uncertainty at this point. This is perfectly natural. Every day of your life will bring new and sometimes unexpected circumstances. I can, however, assure you that no matter the twists and turns of the future, you are prepared. You've accomplished much here, and you have the capacity to learn and to grow and to meet challenges that we cannot even envision today. And as your life and career develop, we hope you will return often to your university, to your roots. We will most assuredly welcome you back. You graduate today with our affection and our respect. We're deeply honored to have shared a part of your life and grateful for the part that you've played in the life of this great university. Congratulations, graduates. One of the finest college recognitions is to be selected from one school as the outstanding graduate. In turn, these students select the most influential faculty member of their academic career. This reciprocal recognition is greatly respected. Let me introduce you to these fine bachelor's graduates and the professors they have chosen. Please remain standing and hold your applause until all are introduced. Art, Anna Pidko, and Professor Gary Benzel. Jenna, communication, Jenna Wells and Dr. Charles Gehring. Health communication, 
Samantha Davies, and Rachel Record. <laughs> Hospitality and Tourism Management, Melissa Escobado and Professor Christina Jeffries. <laughs> Recreation and Tourism Management, Erica Charles and Professor Larry Beck. <laughs> Journalism and Media Studies, Matthew Bain and Professor <laughs> Lainey Lockwood. <laughs> Dance, Dance, Krista Nelson and Professor Jess Humphrey. <laughs> Music, Austin Pacheco Timmerman and Professor Karen Falstad. Public Administration, Robert Russell and Professor Patricia Frozio. Criminal Justice, Ariana Salazar and Professor Megan Welsh. Television and Film and New Media, Shaden Gallegos and Professor Stuart Votillo. Theater Arts, Kelly Plasted and Professor Adrian Alida. We ask that the parents and families of these outstanding graduates to please rise and share in this recognition. Thank you, please be seated. We will now individually recognize and hood those who have earned master's degrees. It is my pleasure to introduce Mr. William Fallon and Dr. Charles Gehring, who will introduce each of our master's recipients. Graduates with a Master of Arts in Studio Arts. Yan He Lee. Wan He Cho. Graduates with a Master of Arts in Communication with a specialization in Communication Studies. Stephanie Nowinski. Shane John Way Loggy. James Patrick Hennessy. Brent Edward Grunander. Brandon Nicholas Rivera. Scott Plambeck. Lauren White. Mario Edgar Sanguinet. Kimberly Da Silva. Erica Nakayama. Jin Yu Tian. Theron Huang. Allison Ya. Sarah Rosengard. Alyssa Benavides.
Kyle Bowe. Jeremy Nicholas Cole Murphy. Carly Rose Deanda. Rodney Kilgore. Hallie Jacobs. Anuja Majmundar. Joy Coles. Brianne Asio. Kayla Hoffman. Ralph Daniel Gramajo. Kevin Shuford. Hayden Harrower. Nikki Truselli. Kelly Christerson. Laurel Arliss. Ingrid Ye. Graduates with a Master of Arts in Communication with a specialization in Mass Communication and Media Studies. Ryan Allen Tweez. Holly Trusiak. David Arias. Simone McDaniels. Richard David Hecht. Joseph Pfaff. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander Teresa Donnelly. <laughs> Lieutenant Michael Larson. <laughs> Rachel Nolan. <laughs> Jeremy McLean. Eric Flanagan. Graduates with a Master of Arts in Television, Film, and New Media Production. Lisa Donette May. Baifun Chi. With a Master's in Music, Katrina Earl. Paul David Kwanza Infantino. Andrew Joseph Kresa. Jarrell Christopher Paggio. Dawn Stryker Roberts. Nakul Venkatakrishnan Tiruvilamala. <laughs> Graduates with a Master of Education in Learning Design and Technology. Jamal Williams.
Amanda Hawes. Dan Trong. Willow Nielsen. Joseph Alvarado. Graduates with a Master of Arts in Theater Arts, Andrea Kovich. <laughs> Shane Wood. Christopher Moberg. Graduates with the Master of City Planning, Christopher Malik. Christopher Stanley. Adrian Zamora. Richard Hui Young. <laughs> Mohammed Hussein Nasiri. <laughs> Mohammed Saeed Baglav. <laughs> Nirvana Ward. Lisa Meyer. Michiko Morisaki. Patrick McPherson. Dionzlo Swift. Graduates with a Master of Public Administration. Duncan Morrissey. Heather Reynolds. Veronica Gibson. Eric Rourke. Thomas Stenzel. Ricardo Morones Torres. Leah Dutra. Scott Gerdes. Samantha Valencia. Melanie Wilson. Laureen Chung. Helen Gao. Susanna Tello. Helene Argov. Christina Marshall. Rita Mikhail. Michaela Peterson. Deanna Wolf.
Bo, Ibex Graham. <laughs> Alan Gonzalez. Sarah Kreider. Angelica Trong. Roxanne Reyes. Ben House. Renee Velasquez. Minerva Ebi Khalil. Elisa Villarreal. Jessica Leilu Matias. Brian Avera. Joyce Liu. Maritza Duke. Graduates with the Master of Science in Criminal Justice and Criminology, Elliot Alvarado. Stacy Davis. Stephanie Proctor. Marco Garcia. Charles Kaiser McCarty. Gia Narvaez. Aya Katab. Now introduce, thank you. I'm pleased to introduce your SDSU Alumni Association representative, Mr. Jack McGrory. Jack is the Chief Executive Officer of La Jolla MJ Management. He is a former city manager for the city of San Diego. He served as the president and CEO of the entity that managed the development and construction of Petco Park. He was the CEO of Price Enterprises and he was the executive vice president and COO of the San Diego Padres. Wow. Jack was a Marine infantry lieutenant for four years. Today, Jack serves as the chairman of the SDSU Campanile Foundation Board, and he serves on the SDSU Veterans Council. And perhaps most meaningful for us, Jack is uh, an alumnus of the School of Public Affairs, he has served as an adjunct professor in the school for 33 years and remains actively engaged in the school. Please welcome Mr. Jack McGrory. Good morning. Congratulations. We want to do a special shout out for the students of the School of Public Affairs. And then all the veterans here, I really congratulate you for being contributing to your country and also coming here to San Diego State. As of today, you are no longer technically students of San Diego State University. You are proud alumni. You are Aztecs for life. Congratulations. While you have been here, San Diego State has continued to become one of the great public universities. We, we appreciate everything that you have done here, 
and you have been part of the amazing progress of this university. Under President Hirschman's leadership, we intend to be in the top 50 public national universities in the country. One of my jobs here has been to be part of the Campanile Foundation, which is just a great board of community and business leaders here at San Diego State. During the past seven years, we've raised $692 million for the university. Our goal is to get to $750 million within the next year. One of the things that I have found most amazing about this university is that more than $70 million of the, that money that we have raised has come from the faculty of the university. And I want to thank each and every one of them for their contribution. It's now my great pleasure to take a moment and acknowledge this class, the class of 2016. You have left an impressive legacy. Nearly 3,300 of you have made a donation to support future students through student scholarships, and we want to take a moment and recognize you for making a difference. You have given a distinguished commencement, you've been given a distinguished commencement cord to wear proudly on this special day. Will those of you wearing the red, white donor cards please stand and be recognized? Thank you for helping future Aztecs achieve their dreams. I also want to thank, I'm going to go off script a little bit, and thank all the parents who are here today. I have five kids, and last year I made my last tuition payment. And there are none left on the payroll. What a special day for the parents, not only to be proud of what you've accomplished, but to have a little bit extra cash. <laughs> As you transition from students to alumni, we ask that you always remember the importance of giving back to this university. Although we are a state university, only 14% of the budget for this school comes from the state of California. And that's why giving back is so important to keep the tradition here alive to continue to make San Diego State University such a great institution. We want to help, we want you to mentor a student or hire an intern to come back to campus to support our students and our events. Your support is critical to the university's future. Wherever your success may take you, you'll always be an Aztec for life. And just for a few words of my personal, need some personal advice. I want to emphasize um, what our professor spoke about earlier. You're about to start a journey, the rest of your career, the rest of your life, and take advantage of all the opportunities that come. Don't be one, a person who sits back and takes no risks. Take intelligent risks, take advantage of the opportunities that come your way. And most of all, something that I learned in the Marine Corps, work hard and play hard. Sometimes I get that a little messed up and play hard became play harder. But seriously, you should enjoy your career. You should have a passion for what you do. And remember that you are part of a bigger community, particularly those of you who stay in San Diego. San Diego State alumni dominate the civic and political leadership of this region. And we are thrilled to have you as part of that, to be part of our network and to support each other as alumni and to support the university and the students who go here. And with that, I'm going to say congratulations and let us all stand now for the singing of the alma mater led by Mrs. Rachel Rothman. The words of, I don't, I know most of you don't know what the words are, so you can find them on page four of the commencement program. Thank you. Spirit of thee. 
lands old and new, a tribute to raise of lasting praise and steadfast faith. Please be seated. We now have a special performance by our most recent musical theater MFA alumni. They will be performing a medley of Carol King songs that they sang two years ago when they first became SDSU students. Please welcome the musical theater MFA class of 2016. good two years ago. They're even much, much better, so congratulations to you. You may not know, but this is program is one of two such programs in the nation that balances the performance with scholarly research in the field of musical theater. Now we have a very special video yearbook presentation to com commemorate the exciting events of the past year. Exciting. A few more moments. Look for the video.
was a great review of the past year. As the official college-wide commencement ceremony draws to a close, I would like to thank the President's party and the faculty in the College of Professional Studies in Fine Arts. Please follow the directions of the announcers for the name recognition ceremony, which will follow immediately after the President's party and faculty have departed. I ask that out of respect for your fellow graduates that you return to your seats upon receiving your diploma covers. President's platform party and faculty of select schools will now depart. I want to close and wish you success in following all of your passions. Remember what to remember, Leadership starts here. Congratulations.